Yo, what's good everybody? John Noise Music again with another tutorial video. I'm shooting this during quarantine, so I really hope that everybody is uh, doing their part to help flatten this curve. COVID is like shaking up all of our lives. I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everybody's staying home when they can. And if you're not staying home when you can, you're bugging. Stay home, stay safe. Let's flatten this curve. Let's get over this together. So I figured I'd make a video uh, primarily about how to use your MIDI controller with the new Waves plugin, Ovox, the vocal resynthesizer. It's a stupid dope plugin. And so I had a really interesting time trying to get my mic and my keyboard to work, my MIDI controller to work with the plugin. I figured it out, so I'm here to share my thoughts. I hope you like it. Okay, everybody, here we are with our blank canvas and FL. Only thing I've done so far is route my my uh, microphone through insert one on the mixer and for those who don't know how to do that pretty much all i did was i uh opened up the mixer so i clicked here my mixer uh, popped up i clicked on any free insert that i want to uh, put my uh mic on and i clicked on it then i went over to the inputs tab i clicked on the input for my interface that the mic is plugged into in this case it is input two um yeah, and that's pretty much, I, didn't, I, re, I just renamed it. But that's pretty much just the, the starting point for us to be able to start this old Ovox tutorial. Okay, so now the second thing you wanna do, after we do that, that's something you have to do in fact, <laughs> is you're gonna wanna, wanna go to another insert and actually put Ovox on that mixer channel insert. Boom, there we go. Now, just for being clean, I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Call it Ovox. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to do, and this is pretty much the key to this entire tutorial, this entire process, really. You're going to want to make sure that whatever port your MIDI controller is on, that Ovox is set to that same port. In its MIDI input. So, when you open open up the window for Ovox, click on the uh, the settings button here, top left, and then click on to the uh, extra settings, the VST settings. Right here, this guy right here, MIDI input port. You're gonna want to set this to whatever your MIDI controller is set to all right so we'll go to options midi settings or just press f10 whichever works best for you um and in this case i have a uh i have an impact I have, I have a nectar so you know i this particular uh midi controller um the default settings is uh for well not the default setting but the settings that you want it to be on for it to integrate with fl pretty seamlessly is 155 right so in my case in my case you set that right here click on it set it right here in my case i'm going to want to set ovox to 155 almost there Boom, there it is. Okay, so now we have Obox, Ovox, sorry, Obox, wow. Ovox set to the same input port as our MIDI controller, right? We can close this now. Now we can go back to our regular Ovox screen. And the next thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna change the note source from auto, click on it, until it displays MIDI, okay? Now we're essentially set up. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep the synth as internal, which is the Ovox built-in synth, as opposed to you using some other synth that you might want to use in passing side chain to the actual uh, mixer insert. But in this case, we're just gonna use the internal, and we're gonna keep the voice on track, okay? 
Now, pretty much the last piece to this whole puzzle is routing the audio from your mic input into the OVOX insert. Now, following the example from my previous video, which was how to set up FL to record vocals, we're going to want to, in actuality, we really want to route, right click and click on route to this track only. And I won't do it just yet because I want to be able to continue speaking. Essentially, once we do that, we'll be set up and good to go. All right. Those are the main parts. I'll recap real quick. First thing. Open up your mixer. And make your mic from your, your condenser mic go through one of the inserts. Second thing. On another insert on your mixer, open up the OVOX plugin. Third, in the OVOX plugin, open up your settings, VST settings, and make sure that your input MIDI port matches that of your input MIDI controller settings in the MIDI input output devices settings screen. Last, route the audio from your mic uh, insert route it to your OVOX and you should be good to go let's give it a shot yeah. 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 I you have it i hope that helps let me know uh, i could do some more videos like this um good luck man keep producing keep grinding